the 10 bed ICU project will provide the much needed critical care services to all the district hospitals in the state. No clock pride of four blocks cover grass, or forty villages, as a or Okuan is more than hundred fifty villages to be on the border. So, no clock district, it do hospital. This is the only district hospital, it do hospital to Ville, so Manu do get it in grass. So, condition Bishi Biasa, the emergency at Hadam de Chaldi Ula Ule Aropia, which I are any serious Tagina, serious Tagina, a hard time day, sometimes. Uh, it's difficult for the patient to travel in such kind of uh, road uh, to can face crisis. The topography and remoteness of Nagaland has always been a challenge to make critical care accessible to the remotest parts of the state. The 10-bed ICU project is a public-private partnership between the Department of Health and Family Welfare, Government of Nagaland, and the 10-bed ICU partner NGOs led by eGovernment's foundation. Conceived by Mr. Srikant Nadamuni, the founding CTO of Aadhaar, the project aims to create a 10-bed ICU unit networked with a tele-ICU hub using a robust technology platform in a government hospital in every district of India by 2025. A high-level project management unit is formed to oversee the overall implementation of the project. In order to strengthen that state uh, project management unit in the higher level, recently the department has constituted a subcommittee with departmental experts from the Directorate of Health and Family Welfare. The project tries to address three critical problems. Missing ICU beds and specialists, disparity in critical care infrastructure and inadequate digital infrastructure. Rasta Debi, oxygen bridge, and the beat that can to facility at the man, I eat the first that day, patient regina. We are in the age of uh, super speciality, but uh, which is lacking in our hospitals. We wish to have uh, specialties in all the fields. The Bishop Park, the farmers can say, the finance valley, Bishi Dictor Hojai, the hospital, the Bishi. Through this project, we will have the ICU facilities at the district hospitals in the state of Nanglin. The 10 bed ICU project has five pillars. To overcome the lack of ICU facilities in rural areas, the project provides a set of ICU equipment required for running a 10-bed ICU units in the district hospitals. Goodness that we've provided are of the best quality and I believe that they will go a long way in providing the necessary services to the patients out there. Ten numbers of guarded monitors, ten numbers of uh, infusion pump, and portable X-ray. Ito ang yedit kung chole la to muan karne sab na tibi na thakan is na ita tayi siya. Hindi ita reality de sa isyu gule. These equipments will um, make my work easier, and then it will help me in giving better care to the patient. To overcome the lack of human resources for running the ICU, the project has set up a robust tele-ICU hub and spokes IT architecture connecting specialist doctors of the Naga Hospital in Kohima as hub and the doctors of the district hospitals as spokes. I'm just a medical officer and then uh, guidance is not going to be able to do the functioning of the hospital. So, daily ICU is going to be a major advantage to the more health professionals. Congratulations to your team as well. Yeah. Thank you, sir. It is a matter of minutes only where we can uh, consult the super specialists uh, regarding our patient here. 
now with daily ICU, uh, with the monitors, we don't have to be there in the patient's bed like all the time. We, we can look at the monitor in the nursing stations and then from there we are able to monitor the patient's uh, conditions. This uh, tele ICU hub will give uh, an extra set of eyes to the doctors and to the nurses working. So it will help us to monitor our patients in a wholesome manner and also with the help of the cardiac monitors and the uh, online real-time monitoring of the patients, we'll be able to um, help the other far-flung areas of the districts where we cannot reach uh, them uh, due to the poor road connectivity. The care platform that hosts the tele-ICU is a robust technology platform recognized by the United Nations as the 50th digital public good. It has several modules such as patient management, clinical management, provider management, asset management, facility management, and inventory management. Care will be ABDM integrated. The first milestone is to enable creation of ABA number through care and allow patients to be enrolled under ABDM to generate health ID. The second and third milestone is to allow care to share clinical data with other ABDM compliant systems with the consent of the patient. If you can monitor through a regular dashboard on utilization, patient's admission, clinical data and inventory, we will be able to assess the gaps and act. Human resources with critical care expertise is important. Certification training of doctors and nurses on basic and advanced critical care will be provided. Training on use of medical equipment are being carried out. Technology training will be a continuous process. Training method will evolve and be co-created in consultation with hub doctors and the Directorate of Medical Education. Since the time we received the uh, equipment, uh, we have already started training our staff uh, with the basic module and uh, definitely we want to also help our other colleagues in the other districts if they have not started using the equipment. To ensure better governance of the facility and its long-term sustainability, the project will provide training and capacity building of the Rogi Kalyan Samiti to perform the committee's role of governance and hospital management. Nagaland has a very strong community ethos and a long history of communitization. If the project can work with the RKS members or village health committee members, they can be trained them properly on the basis of how to conduct meetings, manage the healthcare delivery system, improve services, and in terms of fund utilization. I would like to appear everyone to take it as an ownership and use it for the benefit of our people that it can able to achieve in the principle of 4C that is coordination, cooperation, confidence and contribution by the people. Heartwell thanks to Mr. Kosala and Mr. Serikan Natamuni for his generous support to set up ICO Ward and 11 districts and Delhi ICO across 12 districts in my state. You will get blessings from the thousands of families in Nagaland. Please continue doing great work. We need people like you to work towards the development of Nagaland collectively.